So for some reason, over the last few years, mostly due to the rise of the internet, we have decided that the gym, the fitness palace of love, is not a dangerous place, and we can go in there and do whatever the hell we want. Now, I'm not referring to gym fails, which sometimes on this channel we kind of go, ha ha, and laugh at. You know, everyone's allowed to make a mistake in a gym, and everyone's allowed not to be educated when it comes to the gym. But when you are doing stupid stuff like this, well, the clues in what I just said... You're being stupid. So this was sent to me via Fitness Vault, and it says gym bros ripped online by fans after risking their lives for gym stunts. So I was like, what the hell could you possibly do in the gym to risk your life? Unless, like, I don't know, you set fire to a barbell, and then you jump into it, although that would be very hard. But actually, it was kind of like that. Watch. <laughs> good, 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 good. Good. That didn't work. That didn't work. You okay? Yeah. Good. Now that is absolutely bonkers. I mean, one, you should never be doing any dual lifting anyway. This isn't some kind of a bike. You're not on some kind of a date when you go, oh man, should we do that two bike thing when somebody sits in the front and somebody sits in the back? And that never works anyway. People hate that because one person isn't pedaling as hard as the other. And all you ever see, if you ever go to the park and you see somebody on one of these pedalos, that's not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. They're arguing within five minutes. It's like a job. You have to be working in unison and nobody wants to do that when they're trying to have fun. But it's just such a silly thing to do. Why are we going to the gym? I'm not saying you can't have fun in the gym before people go, mm, yeah, that's not what I'm saying. There's no fun if you did get hurt, then everybody would be like, oh my gosh, like that saying. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. We go to the gym in order to try and, well, there's many things you can do is wait, put on masks. You may just want to feel a bit better about yourself. You may want to be healthy. Maybe you just like being in the atmosphere. I don't know. You're allowed to choose. But one, doing this is nothing but being a massive idiot. And two, I don't believe this is the case for this particular video, but a lot of people, especially a lot of TikTok people, like to do this in crowded gyms and you may intimidate some other individuals that have decided to frequent this establishment. Now that may sound a little bit silly. If somebody is brand new to going to the gym and all of a sudden there's this kind of fuss going on, you may chase them away. And the last thing we want to be doing is chasing people away from the gym. It's hard enough to get people in there. Now, as ever, there were some comments about this, as there should be. One person said, no hospital, question mark, try again. Want to see them hurt. Way too much. Probably shouldn't be saying that. You should be happy they didn't get hurt, but still they do need to learn a lesson. Somebody just wrote, good. Well deserved, which is to the point. Stop effing around in the gym for TikTok. That's my favorite comment. I agree with that one. I mean, they didn't write effing and they didn't write flubbing. They wrote the word, but it's true. What brand of stupid did they sprinkle in their protein this morning? Only problem with this one is that protein was broke protein, and your argument kind of falls apart. I broke my hip just watching this. I mean, that's not accurate, but I see what you're getting at. Someone then used a word that you should never use, so I'm just going to jump by it. And then we had, that's too bad. I was hoping at least one got seriously injured. Now, I'm happy that neither of them got seriously injured but this is escaping something that could have been far far worse and i get i sound like your dad this is some kind of like psa message but the problem is the only reason they did this is because well one maybe they thought it would go wrong so they're actually happy this happened or two they wanted to do some crazy ass lift and they wanted to put it on social media and they wanted to get likes and they wanted to get shares and they wanted to get engagement and it's just not worth it it could have gone horribly wrong look how much weight they are lifting on a shoulder press i'd be amazed if one massive world strongest man type bloke would be able to lift something like that so two dudes doing it well again you're never going to be in sync with each other you're never going to be in unison for each other there's not going to be any sort of distribution of the weight because you don't have that guy standing how this guy's are standing or when they're going to push you can go three to one but even the tiniest deviance is going to cause a problem like this and what if you did break your back what if you did break your leg what if you can't go to work what if you can't make money all of a sudden you're putting a stress on yourself and the people and the system around you it's just not worth it and again you don't have to listen to me if you want to run amok you're perfectly allowed to run amok but do not forget that actions have consequences. And I just feel like this kind of thing is getting worse and worse. We had that stupid trick where someone's showing you how you can get all vascular. That was dangerous. I think dry scooping is dangerous. Just my personal opinion. You're allowed to disagree. The amount of people that just try and overdose on caffeine to see what's going to happen and they end up in a hospital. This doesn't need to become a trend either. And it will do. Like, oh man, let's do super duper strength lifts and see if we can do it with two, three, four. Eventually it'll be 15 people and you'll be trying to lift a thousand kilograms and it will fall on you and somebody will break their skull open and all of a sudden ain't going to be ha-ha funny anymore, is it? I mean, this article even has this. I never heard about this. Two months ago, an online trend caught the attention of the fitness community after TikTokers suggested incorporating pedigree dog food into their diets to bump up their overall daily protein intake. All right, which one of you guys are going to take one for the team? 666 grams of protein or only 200 grams of dog food? That's like that's like a bowl of dog food. 10,000 likes, now 15,000 likes, and I'll eat a bowl of dog food. The user who started the trend eventually came clean about the prank and pleaded with a 
Publix not to eat dog food for protein. This is what I'm talking about. People will try and dress anything up as the secret to bodybuilding or weightlifting when there is no secret. We already know how it works. Why on earth would you need to eat dog food when you could have a protein shake? You could have some chicken. Let's say you just want to eat tuna, right? That's the only protein source you want to take in. You don't have to go and take pedigree chum or whatever. Have an extra can of tuna. Protein is protein. There ain't no magic protein. Dogs ain't eating magic protein. What is going on? So yeah, just stop with the stunts. I mean it, just stop. And of course, you're not going to stop with the stunts. You're going to keep doing them. But remember, it can happen to you and it probably will. You want to be on my stupid channel, me going uh, in a Jim Fells video. You want to be successful and you want to get the physique that you are able to do. Now, TikTok is notoriously bad for this stuff. Although actually, to be honest, this was um, an instant. Instagram video, but still, I see it more and more, and it worries me because, well, people are just in search of sort of that five minutes of fame. And a great way to do that is to get that dopamine response from going on your Instagram, your TikTok, your Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is, and going, oh my gosh, we've done loads of views. But if you can't go to the gym and you can't train, it's all going to be over within a week. And then you're lying in a bed somewhere trying to recover. Nobody wants that. You're going to make people sad pandas. And we don't want any sad pandas. I'll draw a line under it there. What a strange rant to return to YouTube with. But that's what I have done. Go and use your time and money better, right? Grillamine.com. <laughs> what a pimp. Um, forward slash Simon. Just go to Simon and get 10% off. Their Grilla Protein bars are now live. Their energy drinks are now live. Their pre-workout is the best one ever, which is why I'm happy to promote this stuff because I use it in my own life. And I think Derek Moore, Plates More Dates, has done a wonderful job. Uh, Instagram and Twitter at Simon the 316. Patreon.com forward slash Simon the 316 to support me that way. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash Simon Miller. SamsonAthletics.co.uk forward slash Simon the 316. That's where you can get a bunch of fitness t-shirt and a bunch of wrestling t-shirts. Shirts. Always appreciate people wearing them. Blows my brain. That could even be a thing. I'm on Cameo. If you want a personalized message, happy birthday, early happy Christmas. Maybe it's your wedding. Maybe you want a pep talk. Whatever the hell it will be, we can do that too. And I believe that is everything. Don't do this kind of stuff in the fitness palace of love. It's going to go wrong. Even if you get away with it once, twice, three times, four times, five. When you get to number 80, not only are people going to be bored of it, because that's also how social media works, but eventually you're going to drop a plate on your groinal area at the very best if something is going to fall on you and then you're not going to be able to use your groinal area and do you want to be no groin gary no you don't don't do it